Hello everyone. So finally, now we have one of the most awaited feature in Microsoft Teams, that is how to stop participants to join scheduled meeting before the organizer. But why do we need this option? So sometimes what happens is student they join the scheduled meeting before teacher, and then they start with their own discussions. So as a teacher, what I want is I want my student to wait in lobby till the time I join the class. Okay, so for that Microsoft introduced one new feature in the meeting options. So let's check what is this new feature and how to use this new feature. So the first thing which you need to do is you have to first open your system application. You can do the same settings from your mobile application as well. So right now let's understand how to do all the settings from system. So after that what you need to do is you need to schedule one meeting. So I already scheduled one meeting and I will click on that meeting. So I either get a meeting option uh, on the bottom side if you see meeting option is here or right now the Microsoft introduced a feature that you can also uh, use meeting option in between the meetings as well. Okay so let's see this option let's change the meeting options from here. So I will right click I will open this link and this will open in my browser thing which you have to do is now your meeting options are here so you have to select only me here so who can bypass the lobby you have to select only me select only me and in case you feel that the other participant they're muting other participants okay and uh, sometimes they uh, remove other students from class so what you can do is you can select only me here as well so if you select only me here in who can bypass the lobby and who can present, you will have full control over your class. So what we'll do is we will click on save and now your meeting options are saved. What I will do is I will start my meeting by clicking on join. I will click on join now. And uh, here I can say one student is already waiting in that lobby. Okay, so I can click on view lobby if I want. I can admit that student in lobby. And uh, now I, I want to see how the lobby look like from student point of view. So let's let me log in from student ID from browser, and I will show you the same. Okay. So now I have logged in from uh, one of the students ID uh, by using my browser. So I want to see how it appears for student when they wait in lobby. So what I will do is I will try to join this meeting now and I will click on join now. So as a student, I will get this notification that will let people in the meeting know that you are waiting. So let's see what uh, the person who organized the meeting, but which type of notification he will get. So let's see. So I will get the notification on the other side that uh, one student Sarabjit he is waiting. So in case I want student to admit into the meeting, I can click on the name. In case many students are waiting, so you will also get the option to admit all. So you can admit all the students. So now I have admitted that student in my meeting. So you can see that but one student is there in the attendees list. So in between you feel that most of the time because of the internet connections, the student they keep on coming and going and every time you have to ad admit. So what you can do is you can click on manage permission and you can change uh, that permission from only me to people in my organization. So right now I have logged in uh, by using different ID in browser. So let's see what which type of notification I will get. Since I have logged in by using student ID, so they will say that only meeting organizers can make changes. So this happened with us sometimes when we logged in in our browser by using some other ID and we try to change meeting options. Okay, so in case you get this type of notification, so what you can you do is you can either log out from this ID from your browser, otherwise you can open this in incognito mode. So right now the option is only me, so you can click uh, change that to people in my organization and save. So if you change that to people in my organization and save, so anytime uh, your class students can join and leave. Okay, so in case now after after my class, I want that now I don't want my students to join that meeting later on. 
okay after i leave the class again if i want i can go back to uh, meeting settings and i can change that anytime it will take less than 5 seconds to change the meeting options so de it depends upon us how we are using this option to make our class or meetings more effective so thank you everyone for joining us i hope this tutorial help you to learn more about the meeting options